dear students, how are you? I hope you're fine. Today we're going to have some uh, exercises on what we have taken during the quarter, quarter one. So let's begin. I have here using a problem solving plan. Okay, remember my dear students, when we have here, when we have a problem. So, it's important to know the steps, how can I solve the problem? First of all, I have to explore. Explore means what? Explore to know here what facts do I know. Facts here do I know what information given to me, what information given to me in the problem. And what do I need to find out? The required. Okay, this is important to know, my dear students. The required. Okay, okay, required. That means that he wants me to find what? Okay, the plan. See the facts relate to each other. Make a plan for solving problem. Estimate the answer. Here, the plan in math, mostly we use what? We draw a table or graph or just a diagram okay solve here I solve the yes I solve the problem here after doing the plan okay solve the problem after then examine exam examine to check your answer if it's right or wrong okay then I have here an example I want you to solve it with me it's very important one okay so please focus here if I tell you here, leather bought 8 CDs at a sale, the CD purchase costs what? $13. And so, okay guys, focus. The information given here, okay, the information given that I have here, he bought, leather bought 8 CDs. What? 8 CDs, right, Habibi? And the first CD, the first CD is for what? Is for thirteen dollars okay dear students okay and he tells me what any additional CD costs six any additional CD costs six so what here I should do I know that I have here eight CDs okay so one of the CDs one of the CDs consider it for as I told my dear students at school it's 400 yeah so he's so famous so I here purchased this CD for $13 and the other seven why seven from where did you get the number seven if I here bought one CD and I the total is eight CDs so the rest here of the CDs is what? 8 minus 1. 8, the total, minus the 1 of 13. So, gives me 7. The 7th other CDs, the additional CDs, each CD with $6. So, 6 times what, my dear students, times 7. To know here what? To know the price of the 6 CDs. Sorry, the 7 CDs. To know the price of the 7 CDs. Each with $6. So, 7 times 6 equal 42 Okay, and I have here 13, 13 is the price of the first CD, so 13 plus 42, 13 plus 42 gives me what my dear students, 55, okay, so the total cost of the CDs is 55, and uh, what about here the numbers and expressions, remember my dear students, when I say here, I have here to do an operation in math, so I will follow what PEM does, PEM does, what's PEM does, my dear students, parenthesis, exponent, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction, okay, so P, parenthesis, brackets, remember brackets, my dear students, E, exponent, when I say here 2 to, two to the power 3, 4 to the second power, multiply, multiply, division, divided, addition, plus, subtraction, minus. Ms. Dina, I have to follow these steps when I, yes, when I solve equations and expressions. So, let's here see one uh, expression and Solve it. So one example here. I have here, my dear students, 7 plus 8 divided 2 minus 5. Okay, what should I solve first? Remember, PEMDAS. Remember what, my dear students? 
from this do we have here any brackets no do we have exponent no multiplication no division yes we have division so here solve for the division so 7 plus what 8 divided 2 yes 4 minus 5 so it gives me 7 plus 4 11 11 minus 5 gives me 6 my dear students and I can solve it like this Remember, we have some steps we have to follow. Pim das, pim das, okay? Here I have, do we have brackets here? Yes, we have. Remember, Juliana, we have taken this. I have here what? The brackets, the brackets. We have here for the brackets and parentheses. Parentheses, this, this uh, sign is parentheses, and this is the brackets. We treat them both as brackets. Uh, parenthesis brackets okay so the first thing I, I have to solve here is what is the brackets I have here 4 plus 5 equals to 9 and I have between brackets I solve between the brackets first 15 minus 12 yes I can hear you 3 and they are also in between two parentheses a large this parenthesis so I have here 3 and I have here this two parentheses 9 divided 3 and I have here my dear students plus 8 okay so 9 divided 3 3 3 times 3 9 okay you solve it between brackets here 9 divided 3 3 then I do I solve the multiplication or the plus addition pim das uh, multiplication right I can hear you three times three nine plus eight then it gives me 17 okay okay let's continue miss variables and expressions okay what about the variables and expressions guys when what what's what's meant by variable miss variable here it's what it's a letter we use here variables the letters in the Yes, we use letter variables, okay, to express here an algebraic expression. Okay, uh, as you see here, I have here this example. Yeah, let's do this. I have here evaluate. Evaluate means in math, solve, my dear students. So, A plus 47, if A equal 12. Instead of A, I write what? 12. Instead of A, I write what? 12. So, A plus 47. Instead of A, write 12. Replace, substitute 12 plus what? Plus 47. So, it gives you 59. What about here, Ms. Dina? Here, evaluate 7 or over, over is what the fraction is. Division, excellent, 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 a division. 7R divided 2. What's between 7 and R? Multiplication, hidden multiplication. Remember, this is hidden multiplication. Miss Dina, what should I here do first? The multiplication or the division? Okay, I started here. Can I write it here, guys? 7R divided 2. So start from left to right. Start from left to right. Okay, my dear students. Okay, when you have multiplication, division, or addition, subtraction, so they are like brother and sister. I'm doing as uh, in the order from right, from left to right, from my left hand to the right hand. So 7 times R, and how, here R is what? R is 4. So 7 times 4, let's clear to make it more clear for you, my dear students. 7 here times R, where is R? 4, 7 times 4, divided by 2. So 7 times 4, 28 miss, divided by 2 equal 14. Okay, is it easy? I think it is. Okay, dear students, tomorrow, inshallah, we are going to have the properties. Okay, thank you for listening. Bye-bye.